june third saint clotilda queen saint clotilda was the daughter of the burgundian king chilperic her father was catholic and his brother her uncle gondenbod was arian arianism was a terrible heresy that infested the church for several centuries her arian uncle killed her father along with the great part of her family her mother was drowned in the rhone river her brothers massacred etc it is unknown why the uncle did not kill saint clotilda also instead he took her to his castle and kept her as a second-class princess half free half prisoner clovis was king of the franks and neighbor of the burgundians he realized that the murdered father of clotilda still had many catholic supporters and he was planning to further divide the burgundian kingdom to make it easier to be conquered toward this end he asked clotilda to marry him it is hard to understand why the king accepted given the political inconvenience that could come from the union but he did before they married however saint clotilda received from clovis his promise to respect her catholic faith so saint clotilda accepted and with this she escaped her uncle's captivity and the arian atmosphere of his court she became the queen of a barbarian and pagan nation she continued to practice her faith and clovis was influenced by her example when he was in a very difficult military situation on the point of losing a battle to barbarians in the year 496 he made a promise to quote the god of clotilda he promised that if god would help him to win the battle he would convert to the catholic faith god helped him and he won afterwards he did convert at the time saint remigius was bishop of rhymes and exercised great influence over saint clotilda he prepared clovis for baptism on christmas eve in the year 496 the barbarian was baptized by the saint in the cathedral of rhymes a good tradition affirms that at the moment of the baptism of clovis a dove came from heaven carrying in its beak an ampulla with sacred oil that saint remigius used to consecrate him as the first king of france thenceforth the same oil was used to consecrate all the kings of france in their coronation ceremony this tradition was maintained until the coronation of louis the sixteenth during the french revolution the ampulla with the oil disappeared on that same christmas day the most important chiefs of the frankish people converted with clovis it was the first nation as such that converted to the catholic faith it is said that on that day of the baptism of the franks an angel brought saint clotilda a new banner of the franks before the banner had three frogs on it now it had three fleur de lis christmas 496 is considered in history the milestone that marks the beginning of the middle ages therefore saint clotilda had this very beautiful vocation beautiful vocations like hers are often born from the worst storms and disasters they are born from great sufferings tragedies deceptions contradictions and incomprehensible situations it is like a cactus which is an ugly plant that is laden with thorns but produces a wonderful flower at the end of the long road of sufferings the vocation blooms bringing forth its full beauty in such souls it becomes clear that the success of these vocations does not really simply rely on human merit they are due to the will and action of god which comes to us through the universal intercession of our lady saint clotilda whose example and prayers converted clovis and the franks and and gave the start to christendom is a great patroness for us who long for the reign of mary we should all ask her to give us the necessary spirit to start and to effectively build the new glorious era for the church and our lady